Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a eyeshadow tutorial using the new James Charles and Morphe eyeshadow palette. Um, it is going to be a more colorful, bold, out there eyeshadow look just because the palette is super colorful, super pigmented, and has a huge variety. Um, so it is going to be super bold. Before I get started with that though, as always my social media is down below. Down below, down below. Um, if you need somebody to talk to, if you're going through anything, go ahead and shoot me a message. I will try to get through every single one, and we can talk about literally anything. Um, before I move forward with the whole eyeshadow look, I would love for you to take some time to go like this video. Go ahead, I'm giving you some time right now. Comment on this video what you think of my eyeshadow look when it is completed. And if you can take some time to subscribe if you like me, if you like this channel, and you want to see more from me, um, subscribing will help you do that. And if you hit that notification bell, every time I upload a video, you will get a notification. Um, again, so just take some time, show some support to your girl. All of that information is down below. Um, just so I know that I should keep doing this and I should keep, keep creating eyeshadow looks and doing stuff like this for you guys. Also, if you guys have stuff that you want to see, that's something you need to comment below so I know what to put out there for you. Um, so without further ado, I am going to move forward to the tutorial now. Um, I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit closer so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now that I have you a little bit closer, I'm going to go in with the palette. It's huge. I don't even know if I can fit it in frame. It's a huge palette. Um, I actually was expecting a lot smaller of a palette, so the, the size was surprising. As far as the palette itself when I open it, what I noticed is two things. Two things. No mirror. Jeffree's palette with Morphe has a mirror. Which for me that is a big deal because one, I'm filming or, on, or I'm traveling, it's nice to have a mirror because then you don't have to bring one along. Um, and another thing, the shade names are not actually on the palette. They come on that protector that comes with the palette, which... For me, is a problem, again, because when I'm telling you what eyeshadows I'm using, I have to constantly put this back on, take it off, put it on, take it back off. So if you're seeing that or hearing the noise, it's because I do have to do that every single time I tell you the shade that I'm using. Um, before I get started, I am going to go in with a primer, an eyeshadow primer. I'm going to go in with the, let's see if I can get it, Luscious Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Base. A little bit goes a long way. I literally put... Just a dot on my hand, and that's probably still too much. Um, but I go ahead and put that on my eyelid. If you put too much on your eyelid, it will get cakey. It will get all over your face, and it's just a mess. Because it is harder to blend out. I definitely would say that about this eyeshadow primer. Because if you use a lot, you have nowhere to put it. And I do my makeup before I do my eyeshadow. Um, so it's like you don't want to mess that up. Your makeup you already did. Also, look at that highlight. Like, Jeffrey. Hello. Um, I have shade Sarcophagus on from Jeffrey. I do think that you should spend the extra money and get his highlight. Even if you have to save up for a while to afford it, his highlight is like blinding. Blind. You're blind. I'm blind. Okay, so I do have the primer on. Alright, I'm gonna go in. See, so now I'll have to put this back on. Um, I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go in Pinkity Drinkity. Yeah, that's different. Pinkity Drinkity. I'm going to go in with that. I went with a very, like, green, watermelon, pink type of look last time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay away from that this time. You hear that? Let's just hope it's not a car accident. Because these car accidents have been happening a lot lately. Cough, cough, add a light to the intersection. Ooh, look at that. Um, so far, I mean, I like this shade a lot, this pink. It's super subtle, super beautiful. Um... I do have to say there is a similar shade in this um, to this in Jeffrey's Morphe palette, but in James Charles' defense, his palette came out first, so it's like did Jeffrey copy James? Um, I love Jeffrey, so I'll never say that. But there is a similar shade 
Very similar. Maybe I'll try to compare those real quick. If, if I'm wrong, then I won't put it on the screen, but if I'm right, I'll put the two shades on the screen, um, just so you guys can see. Again, I, with eyeshadow, everybody has every shade. It's like, you could also get this shade with ColourPop, you can get this shade with BH, you can get this shade with An Anastasia, you can get this shade with everything. So it's like, copying is gonna happen. It just is what it is. I wouldn't even say it's copying. It's like, there's only so many colors. All right, so there's the pink. I love it. It looks super pigmented on the um, camera. It looks super pigmented in person. Um, yeah, I love it. Oh, by the way, this cute mirror, super cute, right? I got it on Etsy. Um, I don't know the chick. I just bought it for $15, I think it was. Um, I'll link her down below. It does not come bedazzled. I got this thing with bling where I'm like, bedazzle it right away. Um, but yeah, I'll put her link down below if you want to buy it. Um, again, I don't know her. I don't get any money from you buying it. It's just I love this, the mirror so much. So, yeah. Give her some, some support because the mirror is super cute. And perfect for a makeup channel or life in general. I'm going to go in with single and apply that in my crease. It's like a purpley color. Literally just like windshield wipers back and forth. Crease. Also, while talking about Etsy, um, definitely if you haven't heard of it, check it out. The people are legit. The people are extremely talented and you get some amazing things. And they're different too. It's not like your everyday like go to Walmart or go to like home goods type of thing. It's like these people home make it and it's some of the stuff I've seen is amazing. And you're supporting, you know, everyday people, which is great. Not these big corporations. You can literally get anything on there. So there's that. Um, I really love how the purple blended into the pink. Um, I'm gonna go in now with what do I want to use? I'm gonna go in with shade Love that. It's like a maroony pinky type of shade. It's super cute. Um, I'm gonna go in with If I can clean this brush, what is it? A Luxie 229 tapered blending brush um, And blend that into my crease even more um, as you'll notice with me I don't care what the brush says it's for I'm gonna use it for whatever the heck I want to use it for um, I've used foundation brushes on my eyes. I've used, you name it, I've used it. Um, I honestly don't care what they say. They're gonna do what I want them to do. I'm also blending that lower on my eye instead of up, um, like I blended the purple. Blending it more into my eyelid. I also have an itch. And if you want to see my look using the Jeffree Star Morphe palette, I'll link that down below as well. Um, I love that palette. I loved it. It was an awesome palette. I was about ready to say amazing. If you watch that first palette, it's an inside joke. You'll get it. Take a shot whenever I say amazing. But yeah, I'm going to blend this on my eyelid too. I mean, this is beautiful. I'm normally like your blue. I love blue. Blue is my color, but I also love these maroony, pinky colors. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. I do need to um, add some more dimension to this. I'm going to go in with a little bit darker color. Um, I am thinking escape. It's like a dark purple. And blend that in my crease a little bit. I just need a darker color. I'm literally trying to stay into this outer corner and outer crease area with this. 
But I think it even might be a little too light. Let's add a little bit more. Let's see. There we go. You just gotta really dig in that pan to get the pigment. I'm gonna go on with that pinkity drinkity again and blend that up here a little bit more. I think I'm gonna go in with, uh, no, I don't know. Artistry, it's like a purple. I, I might regret this, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna do it, and then I'm gonna immediately regret it. All right, let's try this. Ooh, okay, I don't regret that. That shade is gorgeous. Ooh, okay, this might be my favorite shade in the palette. Um, I am going to take a flat brush, looks like this, just to apply that close to my corner. Again, I got nails, so it ain't going to work. I am not mad at that. Okay, now I'm going to go in with single and blend the purple shimmer a little bit into my eye. We don't want any rough edges. And now I am going to do my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with shade. I kind of want to go in with shade. Love that. And apply that in my lower lash. You also want to make sure that you blend that up into your eyeshadow. I like going like that. Looks like that. And then I'm going to do it to the other eye. To the other eye. Um, I am going to go in with shade. Shade, shade, shade. Face? No, yeah, face. I'm gonna do face in my uh, brow bone. James said that he would use this as a highlighter. We're gonna try that today. I am not seeing anything. I might have to spray it. I guess it's subtle. It's very subtle. I'm used to like Jeffree Star highlights and I don't know. Then again, this isn't really a highlight. I'm gonna spray the brush real quick, um, and then I'll try it again. I'm gonna use the Morphe Jeffree Star setting spray. Just spray my brush, just to get it wet. Also, this smells amazing, and the spray, it, how it sprays is amazing. We'll see if that does anything. Oh yeah, that helped. I mean, definitely nothing compared to like that, but. All right, um, I am gonna take a little bit of that same shade and put it in my inner corner too. Okay, looks like that. For mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this mascara. Um, I'm gonna try something out today. So, with my palette, I ended up getting the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer Base. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it to one eye and then do the Better Than Sex Mascara and then not apply it to the other eye and do the same thing, just to see if there's a difference.
Um, I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna put mascara on the side. Again, I'm not gonna put that primer base from L'Oreal on my left eye. Just to see, to compare. I also didn't curl my lashes. I just want to see how the mascara itself works. Um, this right here is the side that has the eyeshadow, or not the eyeshadow, I'm sorry, the mascara primer base. Um, I think they're less clumpy. I think there's a lot more, they look more fake, like fake lashes, um, a lot more curl to them. Again, I did not curl my lashes at all. I strictly just applied it. Um, and then this is just the better than sex mascara. No primer, no curling, no nothing. I mean, I definitely look like my lashes are a lot longer here, less clump. Here, if we get closer, I definitely, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot more, um, it looks a lot better here. Alright, um, I'll go ahead and zoom you guys out and I'll show you the entire look. This is the finished eyeshadow look though. This is the finished makeup look um, from each side. Final thoughts on the palette. I really think this applied great. Um, maybe it was the, like I said, I was going to put a white primer on just to see if it'll stick better. Usually it does. Um, maybe that's what it was. Um, but yeah, I'm a lot happier with this application. Again, comment below if you want to see the other one. Maybe I'll post that video too. Um, but I'm really happy with this. I think it came out wonderfully. I think for the price of hell, it was pretty great. Um, looking at it now. Um, yeah. Again, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell if you like this video, if you like me, if you want to see more of my content. Um, I'll, I'm going to try to put out more and more videos. Um, but just realize, you know, YouTube is not paying me to do this yet. I don't get paid until I hit a certain numbers within that, their system, which are outrageously high. Um, so for me to keep doing this, I need to see the added support from you guys. Um, a simple comment, a simple like, sharing. All of that, it it does so much for me. Um, so yeah, again, if you like this video, thumbs up it. If you like this eyeshadow look, leave a comment. If you hate it, leave a comment. Let me know what you know, what you like, what you don't like. And yeah, thank you for watching.